What's going on YouTube, QKG here, and we're about to get into a segment that I've actually not done in a very long time, and I'm actually going to be bringing it back, because the segment was called the PC Gaming Showcase, and now I'm just going to go ahead and change it to the Free-to-Play Showcase, just because what the showcase was was just showing off the Free-to-Play games that were on the PC platform. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump balls deep into the new Free-to-Play Gaming Showcase, and to say the truth, it might be a quick one, just because there's not much to this game. But anyway guys, let's go ahead and get started. So the game we are looking at today is War Mode. War Mode is pretty much your standard first person shooter. It came out on Steam maybe about a month ago or maybe a little bit less. And this game got quickly removed off of Steam just because of copyright and fragments. And literally I saw my friend playing it and I tried to search it up, couldn't find nothing. Had to go through some loops and turns to actually get to the website to download the game. And it was still linked through Steam which was a little weird. But if you want to know where the copyright things come from, as you can see the gameplay kind of reminds you of you know kind of fast paced kind of aimed down the site you know kind of like call of duty ish in a way like you know a run and gun shooter it feels kind of like that you know arcade shooter but mm, there's literally zero recoil at least call of duty inputs recoil even though it's not like on that rainbow six status but this this game literally has zero recoil the bullet spray can get a little nasty from time to time but other than that no there's zero recoil and there is no loadouts, there's the buy system, kind of similar to the Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which basically means when you first start out, you hit press B, you go through all your weapons, and however much money you have, you can buy that weapon. So it's literally a mix of Call of Duty and Counter-Strike, heavily ripping off of some of the Counter-Strike um, weapon system and stuff like that. So that's pretty much why I think it ended up getting ripped off the store. That was pretty much what most of the rumors were going on. I'm not 100% on it, but just by playing it, I think I get the gist of it. But gameplay-wise, the game was honestly fun. I do like arcade shooters. I do like being, you know, the fast-paced shooter. I'm not really, you know, that heavy into, oh, it has to be realistic in order for it to be a first-person shooter. If the game was fun... I can say it, the game was fun. Even though there was zero recoil, the textures were horrible, the game just looks like shit. The game was actually pretty fun. I actually really enjoyed myself, and I felt like they were on to something in a way. I feel like instead of this game being 200 megabytes, if it was a gig and they had a lot more time to actually, you know, buff up the textures and add different stuff in here, and, you know, like instead of ripping off of the buy system and having stuff like that. I think it would be pretty good. I think it would actually be a nice addition to the free-to-play um, genre, especially when it comes to first-person shooters, because pretty much it's dominated by Dirty Bomb and Team Fortress 2, and, you know, some um, Warface here and there, but I don't, I don't like to talk about that game, but pretty much I felt like they were on something. It could be something good, but it's kind of ruined just by, I feel like, they just kind of push this game out just to be a hop in and hop out shooter now some people might be looking for that but me for unfortunately i'm not literally you'll play this game for like a good i don't know 40 minutes get bored and then won't touch it at all for the rest of the day so literally it's that bad when it comes to a hop in hop out shooter you're gonna end up just doing the exact same thing over and over there's no reward i'm surprised they didn't add kill streaks in the game but there's no reward there's no where well, there's ranking systems but it really doesn't mean anything there's no competitive there's none of that of like i said the guns don't have recoil and it's just lacking in a bunch of different areas and like i said it's free to play and it was only 200 megabytes so I literally could not expect much more alright guys so in pretty much all the episodes of the PC gaming showcase have I ever ever okay wait alright guys so literally after this game being out for the time it was out and finding out how quickly it died down as soon as it came out because there were times when the servers were filled with people and then there came times of prime time where everybody's around and there's nobody there but I can see the servers going on a decline and people not really messing around with this game but to tell you the truth has there ever been a time in the PC gaming showcase or now the free to play showcase where I literally unrecommended a game for you guys and told you to stay away from it besides um I can't even remember that game. It was Warzone Battleground, was it? I don't even remember. That game's probably dead now. But literally, do not download this game. I'm not telling you just because this game is horrible, but just because, honestly, there, there's not much to this game. I would love to see whoever designed this game to make something just like this, but do it a whole lot better and instead of just ripping off of certain areas. Just make it a whole lot better, you know? 
trim some of the areas, cut some of the stuff out, like the buy system. The gameplay was fine. The gameplay was dope. It was mostly the Counter-Strike thing that probably got it taken off, but just implement some great things that make this game good. Add some recoil, add some skill, add some reward, add make players want to grind out for certain things, and I think you might have something here. But for right now, War Mode just might end up... I don't know, man. War Mode just might end up being there because, to tell you the truth, I stopped playing it. And I've literally only played it like four times. So anyway, guys, if you want to go ahead and try the game out, you can go ahead and definitely look in the uh, description below. I might have a link down there for you if you want to download the game or not. I'm pretty sure you can play it. A potato can run the game. And also, thank you guys for tuning into the video. And as always, leave a comment down below on a game you would want for me to review next into the free-to-play showcase. And this is Quentin with Quentin Notes Games, and peace out.